Hello, my name is Yolanda. I just graduated from Appleby College in Toronto, Canada this June, and I'll be attending Rhode Island School of Design for a Bachelor of Fine Arts in the fall of 2021 after my gap year. My Ogi experience began in October of 2018 at Ogi, New York, and I've been studying both at the New York and Shanghai campus for the past two years. My total average was 93 in my senior year with a mark of 97 in visual art. I also graduated high school as the only recipient of the Appleby Visual Art Book Prize. Some of the extracurriculars that contributed to my application results were being the editor-in-chief for my school's yearbook club for the past two years, founding the LaunchX Entrepreneurship Club, participating in the Yale Young Global Scholar Program in the summer of 2019, attending RISD's 2018 pre-college program, and publishing a research article on pioneer research with a professor from Han School of Business at UC Berkeley. There were not a lot of surprises throughout my college application process because I believe everything I accomplished was a part of my original plan. During extracurriculars, participated in different activities, and coming to Ogi in grade 10 were all my initial plans that I set for myself. I am pretty satisfied with my final results as I got into all the art schools I applied to and four universities. I also received a massive amount of scholarship and was invited to different scholars' programs. RISD and USC are both my dream schools and I didn't expect to be accepted by both of them. I chose RISD over USC at the end because of its profound resources and opportunities, which will not only enable me to establish a solid foundation, but also will teach me to explore from the perspective of art. I do admit that I'll miss USC's diversity in major, its gorgeous campus, and its student connection. But for me, I believe establishing a strong foundation in my undergrad study is more important and significant. RISD's inclusivity excites me to join the community in the fall of 2021. This is a community that truly respects all kinds of ideas, beliefs, and creations. I hope I'll be able to further expand my understanding of art and become more creative with my RISD peers. Also, RISD's connection with Brown is what I'm excited to experience as well. To be able to take non-art major classes at Brown will help me to know a little bit about other majors that I'm also interested in too. As I mentioned before, contemporary art is my favorite art style because of its diverse approaches in performing any kinds of art. It could be creepy installations, surprising oil paintings, or minimalistic sculptures. One of my favorite contemporary artists, Zhang Xiaogang, his artworks contains a style of monochromatic colors that creates strong emotions, which attracts me. In my artwork conformity, I have tried to use the same kind of color scheme to perform a similar emotion to the viewers. Some of the themes and ideas that I included in my portfolio were societal problems and my self-identity. First of all, there are so many societal problems in our society that we often underestimate. In my artworks, I tend to bring up these issues to the public. Secondly, I love expressing myself in my artworks. I try to tell my stories and my journey by using brushes, which also creates a surprising effect at the end. While Ogi helped me in improving my technical skills and my use of different art mediums, I believe it assisted me in a broader perspective. It allowed me to view art at a higher level, connecting my inner thoughts into one theme and expressing them through different forms of art. Coming to Ogi, I no longer am trapped by my little detailed mistakes on tiny canvas. Instead, I am able to view my art as a whole and to have the ability to criticize my disadvantages in my portfolio. This piece of artwork is named Animals in the Subway, which I finished in the summer of 2019. 
Inspired by the artist Alessandro Gallo and my observations during subway rides in Toronto and Shanghai, I made this painting to exaggerate people's personality through associations with various animals. People tend to quickly evaluate others superficially, often overlooking their real substances. In fact, people become characterized inappropriately and are even thought as being on the hierarchy of the animal kingdom. The pig is lazy and stupid. The bear is simple and honest. The fox is crafty. In my painting, I convey a criticism of the ongoing social trend of labeling. The next piece I'll be talking about is one of my self-portrait. The name of the drawing is Yin and Yang, and it's made by ink. In the Chinese culture, the dragon is a mythical creature that engenders strength, power, mystery, and fear. It symbolizes both my origin and my growth into the Western world. By employing black ink, I'm able to render my own journey from birth through trauma, tragedy, and life experiences. I become my own dragon that attains a sense of self-belonging. No matter what world I may enter, the simple choice is either black or white, yin or yang. The circle of life is one that ends in death. Yet, throughout one's existence, the skeleton serves to be the structure that will always house the being. This acrylic painting is named "Seeing the Forest Through the Trees" that I made in the summer of 2019. The inspiration of this painting came from the forest located beside my high school. When the daily stresses in my life overwhelms me, I find myself escaping into the depth of this heavily wooded forest. My visits are paradoxical in the forest that creates the sense of calm and fear at the same time. As there isn't a precisely worn path, it is easy to be confused and lost. There are so many trees that I become lost within the forest. Eventually, I must determine how to create a path and follow where it will lead me. I also use this piece as the original artwork for my Parsons challenge, which I will share with you guys in a second. The last piece I'll be talking about is a 3D sculpture called Beacon. It is a response to the previous piece I talked about, and I also used this as my Parsons challenge. I believe understanding the idealization of our lives is always difficult, as we seek for different pathways, destination, and ending. We're often mesmerized by the abundant directions to choose, and the beacon is always needed to help us to find the final results. At the end, the beacon can direct us to create a path and follow where it will lead us. I think it's very significant to explore before you create. Also, observing the small details can help you to brainstorm different ideas. And at the end, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone to experience failures and mistakes. You may reach an unexpected yet outstanding result at the end.